All right, so very welcome to this new episode of Off to 7000 Islands. My name is Eric. Yeah, and I'm Alyssa. And we live now one and a half years in the Philippines. We lived before in Europe, in England and in Germany. And we moved here. Well, for me, it's new move. And for you, it's back. Yeah. Uh, back to the Philippines. And we are running a little hotel and we just looked back we only have that video in german but you can check it out in the description below you can put on the subtitles but we basically looked and had we made a video before we left um, to for the philippines in germany where we talked about things what we want to do here and things we, we might uh, encounter and struggle with and actually like some things we managed to do <laughs> but there's many more things we haven't actually done we, we found the church we still still uh, for especially for me struggle with the culture shock and we haven't found a good solution for learning the language mm -hmm. and we need to plan about that make a, a, a real plan how we gonna do this how we do do we work that out and but we have found a church that's good and then there's also some some cultural things mm -hmm. which which are tricky like like because when you're in culture shock and you know like you you realize what's what like it becomes very clear what's wrong here in this culture you you see all the all the the bad things and which you have accepted or found a workaround in the culture you're coming from and that's like it's a whole new thing like how the the, the big question is how do we live as christians here how do we handle those things like that how do you say some things which you would just maybe say in in Germany but you can't say here because you you know in invade someone's honor or you know like it, it, it's it's attacking them personally where in Germany is just a thing like mm -hmm. and and that's especially for me a challenge because like um, like what what like how things get understood because when i say okay uh in germany there's lots of corruption then that's okay and germans would just say like yeah we think so there's lots of corruption in politics and people know what i mean and when i say maybe here or oh, you know it's like the philippines is so corrupt then people often take that personally mm -hmm. like oh, i'm not corrupt like but that's not what I meant. Like, and and to get those cultural nuances, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like, yeah, like everyone talks about corruption here because there's a huge problem with corruption and all this kind of stuff. But how, how do you talk about it? And as Christians as well, how do you navigate through? Uh, like, where do you make no compromise and say like, okay? This is so important to live as Christian. Like this is my my Christian integrity. Uh, I don't do anything about it. But some things, like how do we adapt our faith in the cultural context um, where it actually doesn't really matter, or where it is important that we think about it how we live in order to not push people away. And this kind of thing so that's a big thing we also realized like well our passion lays definitely the, the our passion definitely lays with the the cafe mm -hmm. which we have the cafe restaurant and yeah the running a hotel it's often very challenging because you encounter lots of people you would never encounter before. You would not deal with certain people and that it's challenging sometimes to be friendly to people who are very not friendly. And 
uh, you need them, but you don't want them. Like this kind of uh, that, that there's like there's a tension because you want them to come, but sometimes you think like oh wow well, you know it's like <laughs> how can you be like this part of society like <laughs> and that's that's most of the guests are perfectly fine but those few guests yeah they they poke out and they stay in your memory yes. and yeah. how to let go is also a challenge <laughs> yeah i mean there's a lot of really like kind and you know really good guests and but when like for that whole week what stays in your head is that really rude one that's <laughs> that one who like shouted at your staff or really sent you rude messages that's the one that really stands out and yeah it's kind of like really challenging to you know look back and you know this guest was really nice to us and uh, you know was really like enjoyed giving them services and yeah because of that one person <laughs> like or that one group is just like too much and then yeah but yeah um, I mean we are very thankful for all the like really kind guests that we had and uh, also those who are coming back all the time and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's 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 a it's a interesting business I mean people who work in retail and yeah. And things they know exactly what we are talking about uh, customer relations all this kind of stuff it's like yeah. uh, it's 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 letting them go just okay and when we make a mistake if it's our fault mm -hmm. okay, then we can also understand okay you know like I <laughs> I know why you're pissed off mm -hmm. like that's that's okay <laughs> like, yeah. like that that is fine but sometimes yeah and yeah, we also realized we, we well, or we, we know we have that farm, and especially with the prices mm. of meat and eggs and all this kind of stuff, uh, it's we really need to make a plan of how we use that. Mm -hmm. But it's also scary because you need to invest first mm -hmm. a lot, and then you don't. You don't the, get the return. The, the return quickly, and that's always always scary as well. Um, and and yeah, but I think it's kind of worth it. Mm -hmm. Worth it now to. I think so too. It, like I mean, meat is so expensive; it's ridiculous. Like, and there's no no real reason for it. Um, yeah. it's, it's just I mean. In the end, it's probably Wall Street speculating on yeah, food and stuff. It's, it's not the, the, the video is not about this. Yeah, okay. Now, new... <laughs> uh, the, the card was full. But, yeah, we've been in the house. We need to make the house. It's quite challenging to buy everything new. Or yeah. so many things new when you just can't take much. And, we need to make it so that we can live here for the next few years in this house mm -hmm. and yeah. or uh, yeah pro make this house so that we can live here properly uh, for for a while longer mm -hmm. like get a proper kitchen the kitchen worktops are so low they are made for for smaller people than even you yeah. are smaller and, than me <laughs> and that's just not working good mm -hmm. and make some things just a bit nicer so that we uh, can in the future we want to build our own house mm -hmm. but at the moment we need to make this one work yeah here and quite some things on the roof need to get fixed mm -hmm. in the in the in the next couple of years definitely it's a rusting through uh, but yeah it's quite challenging this mm -hmm. house actually yeah but that's also one of the things and then uh, for the hotel I think we we need to work on a bigger vision like on, on a vision for the future and then we also have here a property where they built a street too or the property from from your family where we in the future might want to build a house on and how that can be developed 
-hmm. things like this. There's definitely some things in the next few years which can or should should uh, happen. But yeah, I think so. Yeah. We will definitely keep you up to date with all the things which we, we need to do here. We, we're gonna do, of course, more vlogs and everything. Yeah. And we also want to find a way of getting better in contact with you for some of the things we might have done that already. Go back and watch the video with subtitles. You know, they are down there. You can choose subtitles in English as well. Of the things we thought of, gonna be challenging. Yeah, and some things are challenging. The culture, working with the family together and time management, making the right priorities. Definitely, we knew it's gonna be difficult, and we need to do a better job. Uh, yeah, and and trying to reach out to to charities here as well, mm -hmm. which we can support or maybe give some some uh, place where they can maybe make some meetings cheaper and things like this. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to do as well, and we haven't done that. No. <laughs> All right then, we are really hot here. Um, because we can't have the aircon on when we record, otherwise it makes a f noise in the background. <laughs> so now it's time for us to eat mm -hmm. and we hope you have a nice time. You're still here. Give it a thumbs up and we see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.